Hello chess lovers, on Bobby Fischer's birthday I decided to show you his famous Game of the Century. The Game of the Century is a chess game played between 26-year-old Donald Byrne and 13-year-old Bobby Fischer in the Rosenwald Memorial Tournament in New York City on October 17, 1956. Donald Byrne had white pieces and he started with knight f3, knight f6 by Fischer, c4, g6, knight c3, bishop g7, d4, black castles kingside, bishop f4. Instead of playing e4 and allowing Fischer to go for his favorite king's Indian defense, white is playing bishop f4, probably trying to surprise Fischer somehow. But now Fischer plays d5, he goes for Grunfeld defense, queen b3, Bern is choosing the Russian variation, d takes c4, queen takes c4, c6, e4, knight d7, rook d1, knight b6 and queen c5. Well, on the surface this looks very active, but it turns out that the queen on c5 square is misplaced. Later we will see how is Fischer going to use that fact. Bishop g4 pinning the knight and another ambitious move by Donald Byrne, bishop g5. Well, actually it was better to complete the development and prepare Kiev's link kingside. But this bishop g5 move allows Fischer to go a very impressive sacrifice. He played knight a4. Fischer is just using the fact that white queen is misplaced on c5 square and also white king is stuck in the center of the board. White didn't accept the sacrifice and played queen a3. Well, if knight takes a4, then black can play knight takes e4. Now, if queen c2, then simply knight takes g5. If bishop e2, then bishop takes f3. And this is going to be terrible for white. Black then can capture on f3, g takes f3. And the question arises, where is white going to place his king? Black has a huge advantage. Or after knight takes e4, if bishop takes e7, then queen c7, if queen a3, then rook e8. And again, the king stuck in the center of the board faces a lot of problems. If bishop b4, then knight g3, this cover check can be very unpleasant. Let's go back. That's why after knight a4, white didn't accept the sacrifice and played queen a3. Knight takes c3, b takes c3, and once the defender is removed, Fischer captures on e4. But this also allows white to capture on e7. Bishop takes e7, forking the queen and the rook. Queen b6 and bishop c4. Of course, capturing on f8 can be very dangerous because after bishop takes f8, queen b3, black can play rook e8, again threatening some discovered checks. If queen takes b6, then simply a takes b6, and this is an endgame where black has a huge advantage. It's not quite clear how is white going to hold this position. Let's go back. After queen b6, we see bishop c4, knight takes c3, bishop c5. Well, if queen takes c3, then simply rook e8, pinning the bishop. If castling kingside, then simply rook takes e7. Black has an extra pawn, white has too many weaknesses, and also black has a powerful bishop pair. Let's go back, that's why after knight takes c3 we see bishop c5, attacking the queen on b6, rook e8 check, king f1, and in this position Fischer made one of the greatest moves of his career. Can you find his next move? Ready? Well, as you can see, the queen on b6 square is hanging, but Fischer didn't even move away his queen, he played bishop e6, a powerful move. Fischer offers his queen in exchange for a fierce attack with his minor pieces. We see bishop takes b6. By the way, if a move like bishop takes e6, then now queen b5 can be very unpleasant. Black is now exploiting the weakness of this f1 a6 diagonal. If king g1, then we are going to witness the mother of all mates on the board. Knight g3 double check. King g1, queen f1 check, and we see the mother of all mates, the smothered mate. Look at this position. 
Let's go back. That's why after bishop e6, we see bishop takes b6. Bishop takes c4 check, king g1, knight e2 check, king f1, knight takes d4, we see a very unique windmill on the board, king g1, knight e2 check, the way this bishop and knight are cooperating together is just fantastic, king f1, this time knight c3 check, and then a takes b6, first attacking the queen on a3, and after queen b4, Fischer played first rook a4, not allowing white to capture on c4, protecting the bishop and only then winning the rook as well. Now if we have a look at the position, black has a rook and two powerful bishops against the queen. This white rook is buried on h1 square, this is just terrible. Let's see how is Fischer going to realize his advantage. h3, trying to bring the king on a safer square, activate the rook. Rook takes a2. King h2, knight takes f2, winning more pawns, rook e1, and Fischer is now exchanging the rooks. Rook takes e1, queen d8, check, bishop f8, knight takes e1, bishop d5, knight f3, knight e4, queen b8. White queen is desperately looking for weaknesses, but every piece and pawn of the black camp is properly defended. B5, this pawn is now marching forward, h4, h5, not allowing even any possible counterplay on the king's side, knight e5, king g7, I'm pinning the bishop and now this bishop can also get activated, king g1, bishop c5 check, burn is hopelessly entangled in Fischer's mating net, king f1, knight g3 check, king e1, bishop b4 check, king d1, bishop b3 check, king c1, now comes the knight, knight d2 check, king b1, knight c3 check, king c1, now black has several options to mate white king, for example bishop a3 is also playable, but we see rook c2 and we see this fantastic check mate on the board. All hail to Donald Byrne for not resigning and allowing us to enjoy this magnificent checkmate on the board. This game immediately received the stamp of Game of the Century. The Icelandic newspaper Morgum Bladid asked Fischer in 2007 what he thought was his best or most beautiful game. After some thought he replied, Probably the game I played against Donald Byrne in New York 1956, which is sometimes called the game of the century. I took a risk with my 11th move, my opponent did not seem to have made a serious mistake, but very quickly ended up in a losing position. However, the perfect game doesn't exist, this one wasn't perfect either. If you enjoyed this brilliant game, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, more games are coming. Good luck!